Hey everybody, welcome back. You know what time it is, about three hairs past a freckle. And time to look at the funniest social media comments and posts of the week. It's gloomy outside, but my lighting is bomb. Mm. Younger people are treating their pets like living, breathing, freaking animals, and it's reportedly causing problems for some of the best known pet food brands that have been selling garbage fillers that barely qualify as nutrition. There, fix your (laughs) headline. I'm sorry. I'm sorry whoever wrote that headline. Do I really care about pet food brands? Like, do I? Not really. Bro, have you seen some of the food that these like TikTok pet owners make? They feed them like quail eggs and like Wagyu. Ain't nobody got time for your problems, pet food brands. Step it up. If I had a puppy, I would feed him Wagyu. I don't know if it would like Wagyu, but hopefully it would. I do. I made a $1 million in my kitchen. Man's made $1 million, but is begging for us to tag Duncan and three friends. (laughs) You know that's just clickbait, right? You know. Everybody knows. This is what Harry Potter and Draco Malfoy would actually look like if they grew up in the 80s. (laughs) Bro, why is that so accurate? It's really accurate though, isn't it? Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Would he have highlights like that? Maybe. The first step to reducing your emissions is to know where you stand. Find out your hashtag carbon footprint with our new calculator and share your pledge today. I pledge to not spill 4.9 million barrels of oil into the Gulf of Mexico. Oh. Yeah, he's got you there. He's got you there. Really? Really? You? You're the one saying this? Mm. Interesting. Money aside, what do you need right now? The money you just put aside. (laughs) Can I have it? Can I have some money? All right. Stop saying I wish and start saying I will. I will my parents still love me. (laughs) Dark. That's dark. It feels good in my soul. If I had a... I'd stack donuts on it. If I had a hoo-ha, I'd let the homies hit. You gotta a- though, so what's the holdup? <gasps> oh. Got you there! Got you there! Huh? What's the holdup? What's wrong? Oh, that's spicy. That's a spicy one. We're going to have to blur half of that out, but that's okay. It's worth it. We do not have Wi-Fi. Talk to each other and pretend it's 1995. I serve your drinks for two pounds and then pretend it's 1995 as well. Two can play at that game. My son has been eating electrical cords. What do I do? Ground him until he conducts himself properly. (laughs) I enjoyed that. That's lovely. That title is cringe AF. The James Webb Space Telescope has mirrors that span several meters and will allow scientists to see stairs from millions of light years away. Despite this, I guarantee that it won't be able to find anyone who asked. For your (coughs) opinion. Thank you, thank you for your input. I'm sorry, what have you done to contribute to society today other than write your stupid comment? Right? Like you guys know I'm good at almost everything, right? Did you ever have to pay overweight baggage fees? Just concerned about the size of that ego you're carrying. (laughs) Wow. Yeah, yeah, they right, no, they kinda right. But you guys know that like, I'm just literally fantastic. Like I'm literally amazing. I'm gonna use that. I like that. What does competitive salary even mean? The salary will be competing against bills. I almost knocked my phone over. And taxes, my dear. The tax man always cometh. Always. Women leaving immediately after sex is weird to me now. Where the F you going? Home, so I can finish. The best is he's just like completely oblivious. But was it good for you though? No, it wasn't. Certainly not, sir. (laughs) Girls of Reddit, how do you shave your Virginia area? 
Well, typically I work north to south from the DC area down through Richmond, then to North Carolina border slash Virginia Beach. Good response. Uh... Men who refer to themselves as alpha. I'm a pie male. I'm just 3.14 times better than any other male. Translation, irrational, most often associated with his large circumference. This week's video is a little spicy. I'm a little worried I'm gonna get demonetized. YouTube, listen, we've had a good relationship until now. If I promise not to put anything inappropriate in the thumbnail, I'm crossing my toes. Will you promise not to demonetize this video? People who say not to talk to them before their morning coffee are basically saying that they're unpleasant to be around when they're not under the influence of drugs. Unless what they are saying is that you're unpleasant to be around until they are under the influence of drugs. <laughs> you are correct, sir. It is you that is unpleasant. I am just a ray of sunshine at all points in time during the day. That was spicy, I like that. That was really good. I, no, it's just you. Like, I literally can't handle being around you unless I have, like, lots and lots of energy and the willpower to speak to you. Usually brought on by coffee. My kids will not be stuck to an iPad. They'll be playing outside. Imaginary children are the easiest to raise. <laughs> it's so true. Yeah, man. We'll see what happens when you gotta take a flight with them. That iPad gonna be looking real nice. I'm never shopping online again. WTF is this lol. When you order an oversized hoodie and get an oversized hoodie. Fashion trends are so beyond me. They've got a point. It's kind of, yeah. Oversized is tricky, right? Because you don't want to go too oversized. You got to go with your size. You don't want to get it too big. Maybe you can use it as like a tent. I'd hang out with you in that tent. I'm just saying. We can make a fort. I love forts. A Florida man. <laughs> <laughs> a, fl a Florida man jumped off his surfboard and landed on a shark. What? I'm sorry, what? Florida man isn't the hero we deserve. He also isn't the hero we need. He's not even a hero, actually. He's Florida man. <laughs> like David S. Pumpkins, Florida man is his own thing. Far out, dude. So my boyfriend doesn't know a lot about Lord of the Rings and was asking why it was so hard to destroy the ring. And I said it corrupted the ring bearers and made them evil. And even proximity to the ring can turn you evil, as it did briefly with Boromir. And after some careful thought, he decided that the nine members of the fellowship should each have a super long string attached to the ring. And they could drag it behind them from really far so they won't affect them and make Legolas always watch it with his elf eyes <laughs> to make sure it's okay back there. And like, that might work. Did he solve it? I'm so mad. <laughs> so, I mean, um, yeah, it sounds kind of good. TBH, I think they should have gotten a really high energy husky or collie, maybe, and put the ring on his collar and just walked him to Mordor. <laughs> Then no one has to be a ring bearer and you'd get some distance from the ring too because those breeds are always running around like crazy. Just make sure he stays within shouting distance. I think you'd be fine. The two main issues I see with this plan are that someone like Boromir, who's very susceptible, might be corrupted anyways. And there's a slim but non-zero chance that the ring could make the dog evil too. Yes, Lord of the Ring experts, would the ring turn a dog evil? Or is that just elves and and hobbits and men. Does it work on dogs? Because we all know dogs are pure. In an ideal world, it wouldn't work on a dog. Stop for a minute and realize that you are a 10 pound brain piloting a slab of meat. My first thought after reading 21 was, so you're saying I could lose 10 pounds if I took out my brain? That must be how some models get so light. Oh! Wow. Wow. Okay, but as someone who used to like hang out with models, the reason why they're so <laughs> is because they don't eat. <laughs> so true. So true. They're just cranky because they're hungry. Broke men are hurting American women's marriage prospects. Lots of insecure men replying to this one. You literally have your cash app in your Twitter bio. Pipe down, you <laughs> And your dad sends me money, what of it? At least he made more of an effort than your actual dad. Oh wow, oh wow, that was spicy. That was a spicy one. That was good. How long did it take you to think of that? <laughs> He's a cicada boy. He said, cica, cicada, later boy. It looks like it's enjoying it though. Cic cic cicada boy. I love it! Oh! 
Oh, that's so good. I went out of town for a few days and came home to my dog who seems to want to have a word with me about it. <laughs> Look at the way he's sitting. Dude, dude. He's like, sit down. We need to have a chat. <laughs> Why you leave me? You left me for so long. I thought you died. Dog, this dog. Wouldn't like a dog in this situation rush to like meet you? He's literally that mad at you that he's, he's sitting at the head of the table being like, I'm not even gonna greet you. I just wanna have a chat. You know you're in trouble. Me, do you take walk-ins? Dude at the crematorium, what? Oh God, that's dark. That's dark. Do beavers even know what they're doing or do they just see water flowing down a river and think absolutely not? <laughs> not today. <laughs> This table looks like it needs to pee. Oh yes, yes it does, correct. That's cute. Yo, they looking for you outside, I bet a kid. <laughs> Yo, come deal with this for me. Uh oh, uh oh. If you text me, we need to talk, I'm gonna reply, yes we do. Now we both stressed. Oh my God. I have zero regrets on naming my Roomba. Floor <laughs> requires your attention. <laughs> Floor is stuck near a cliff. <laughs> I didn't even know that you could name Roombas. I want a Roomba just so I can name it. <laughs> Floor because it, oh, because it sucks. I see what you did there. I see what you did. You're very clever. Filthy little floor. Filthy floor. Well played, Bic. Perfect for candles and more. <laughs> is that a real ad? Wait, what? Oh wow, that's a great ad. I love it. I love that. Excellent. Deleting dating apps so I can find love the old fashioned way. Being locked in a tower until an ogre and his donkey come and rescue me. You mean that's not how you find love? Cause like, that's kind of what I've been doing. You think that's kind of counterproductive? And like, I actually have to like go out into the world and meet people? Ooh. Ooh. Rather not. The two worst feelings in the world are not having a job and having a job. <laughs> so literally we just feel like <laughs> it all the time. Got it. Sounds accurate. Yep. Sounds a bit late. A decision was made here. Yo, this is so relatable. Just put the, put the thing, put, yeah. It's like, <laughs> at the beginning of the grocery store trip, they're like, yep, I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work out. I'm gonna do good, I'm gonna work out. And then they make it to the snack aisle and it's like, mm -hmm. Or I could just eat some Oreos. You wanna know the tip? The tip for all tips? Just don't go down the snack aisle, just don't. If you don't have the willpower, just don't go there. Or go to like an organic food market to buy your groceries and then ch leave shortly after because everything's really expensive. <laughs> My friend is dating a guy named Blaine and I accidentally called him Blaze, which was her ex's name. And she got really mad at me as if it's my fault that she exclusively dates guys who sound like Pokemon gym trainers. <laughs> oh jeez, yeah. How, how doesn't that, like that kind of like weirds me out though. Like if two guys have, let's say you date a guy or girl and then the next person that you date has pretty much the exact same name or they look really similar like how do you do that you know what I mean but then again maybe it's one of those things where it's like I liked the aesthetics just not not all of it you know not the not the inner stuff <laughs> wouldn't that be nice you take the aesthetics and you just trade personalities yeah, that'd be good Someone should invent that. This type of energy all summer. Dad, did you leave oven on? House in flames. <laughs> house in flames. How do you even have time to text that if the house is in flames? My girlfriend has an exfoliating brush I used in the shower today and it turns out girls have just been sanding themselves like an old table. <laughs> Why do you think we soft though? What, you think I was just born like this? No, no. In 10 years, all of the thrift stores will be full of tie-dye sweatsuit sets. <laughs> I feel attacked. Hey, I didn't do a set, guys. I just did a hoodie. By the way, some of you are getting your hoodies and you look fantastic and please make sure you tweet me pictures of yourself wearing your hoodie because I would like to retweet you. That is all. That is the extent of the plugging that I will do in this video. Destigmatizing the hit and run. Why leaving the scene of an accident is self-care. I mean, like technically, you, I don't think you're technically allowed to do that, but like I can see why you would say that. This is scary, you know? I'm just a boy standing in front of a girl trying to explain something she already knows. <laughs> why is that so funny? Yes, yes I know. You're looking at your friend, you're like, this guy's <laughs> annoying. <laughs> What's going on? 
can you like make up a reason for us to leave? Thanks, babe. You can give her the look. It's like, mm. <laughs> she knows. When she replies with a thumbs up instead of a ha ha after I text a joke. 1-800-DIVORCE. <laughs> you know what? Maybe your joke was really <laughs> Okay, Dan, maybe think of a better joke. Soap when you drop it in the shower. <laughs> it's so true. Ah, it's, not so relatable. Uh, it's really also very hard to like grab as well. You drop it in the shower, you're gonna drop it more than once, let's be honest. Summer 2021. Parting plus worried. That's so accurate. Oh my god. Ah. Oh uh, yeah, I need a break. Alrighty, guys, those are the funniest social media comments and posts of the week. Don't forget to get a haircut, you know? Might be kind of time, especially if y'all are just getting out of lockdown like me. It's getting a little scraggly down there. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe! I've got something that you